Have you ever wondered if computers could exist in multiple states at once? Can you imagine a world where bits blur the lines between zero and one? Today, we will all uncover the enigmatic universe of quantum computing, its intricate components and dazzling array of types that are rewriting the rules of technology. Before we dive in, if you feel it's worth it, like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any update in the future. Components of a quantum computer? Quantum computers have hardware and software, similar to a classical computer. Quantum hardware. Quantum hardware has three main components. Number one, quantum data plane. The quantum data plane is the core of the quantum computer and includes the physical qubits and the structures required to hold them in place. Number two, control and measurement plane. The control and measurement plane converts digital signals into analog or wave control signals. These analog signals perform the operations on the qubits in the quantum data plane. Number three, control processor plane and host processor. The control processor plane implements the quantum algorithm or sequence of operations. The host processor interacts with the quantum software and provides a digital signal or classical bit sequence to the control and measurement plane. Quantum software. Quantum software implements unique quantum algorithms using quantum circuits. A quantum circuit is a computing routine that defines a series of logical quantum operations on the underlying qubits. Developers can use various software development tools and libraries to code quantum algorithms. Types of quantum technology. No one has shown the best way to build a fault-tolerant quantum computer, and multiple companies and research groups are investigating different types of qubits. Here is a brief example of some of these qubit technologies for you. Number one, gate-based ion trap processors. A gate-based quantum computer performs transformations on input data through a predefined unitary operation depicted as a quantum circuit. While reminiscent of traditional electronic gate operations, quantum gates diverge significantly. Trapped ion quantum computers utilize charged atom states, ions, to create qubits. These ions are suspended above microfabricated traps via electromagnetic fields. Quantum gates within trapped ion systems are implemented using lasers, manipulating the ion's electronic states. Notably, trapped ion qubits stem from natural atoms rather than synthetic fabrication. Number 2. Gate-Based Superconducting Processors Superconductivity manifests in specific materials like mercury and helium at extremely low temperatures. These materials exhibit a critical temperature below which resistance is zero, and they repel magnetic flux fields. This phenomenon allows an electric current to flow indefinitely through a loop of superconducting wire without any power source. Superconducting quantum computing employs superconducting electronic circuits to build quantum computers. These circuits use superconducting qubits and function at cryogenic temperatures. Number three, photonic processors. A quantum photonic processor is a device that manipulates light for computations. Photonic quantum computers use quantum light sources that emit squeezed light pulses with qubit equivalents that correspond to modes of a continuous operator, such as position or momentum. Number four, neutral atom processors. Neutral atom qubit technology is similar to trapped ion technology. However, it uses light instead of electromagnetic forces to trap the qubit and hold it in position. The atoms are not charged and the circuits can operate at room temperatures. Number five, Rydberg atom processors. A Rydberg atom is an excited atom with one or more electrons that are further away from the nucleus, on average. 
Rydberg atoms have a number of peculiar properties, including an exaggerated response to electric and magnetic fields, and long life. When used as qubits, they offer strong and controllable atomic interactions that you can tune by selecting different states. Number 6. Quantum Annealers Quantum annealing uses a physical process to place a quantum system's qubits in an absolute energy minimum. From there, the hardware gently alters the system's configuration so that its energy landscape reflects the problem that needs to be solved. The advantage of quantum annealers is that the number of qubits can be much larger than those available in a gate-based system. However, their use is limited to specific cases only. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about the latest technological revelations. And if you have any thoughts, comments about the subject or any suggestions for us, do let us know in the comment box.